What's going on, Internet? Eric Banholtz here, and I am going to share with you how I pull off and rock my wavy beard. All right, guys, everyone's got different beard textures. My beard is a little wavy, so this video is actually for those guys out there who deal with wavy beards. Historically, we've done videos on how to remove the beard wave, but today I'm gonna to talk about how to show off your beard wave, enhance the beard wave, and prevent yourself from doing things that will eliminate the beard wave. Now, the beard wave is essentially just natural curls that you'll have in your beard. Some guys have real cranky beards, similar to like Jack Malacco. Some guys will have straighter beards, similar to Carlos Costa and Greg Brzezinski. I myself kind of fall in between in this more like wavy style beard. And what that ends up with is some pretty gnarly waves. Historically, I've kind of wanted to avoid them. I've tried the round brush where you, you curl the hair back. I keep it short in the past to try to hide the waves. But at my current stage in my life, I'm all about showing off the waves. So the key to showing off your waves is going to be what I just talked about, and it's the length. The length matters a ton when it comes to your wave. Now, you'll see with my beard, the cheek parts are approximately that long, about two inches in length, so that's about four months of growth. And actually under my beard, um, It's a little bit smaller, so about a half, excuse me, about an inch of growth. So what I've been doing during this process is letting my sides grow a little longer and my under chin area grow a little bit shorter. And there's two reasons for that. The first reason is if I let it all grow out, my beard will get this intense wave that kind of goes under my chin and out. By keeping it shorter underneath, it gives that support that the cheek needs to maintain the, the waves and maintain the length. Otherwise, it kind of all grows out and comes in. So by having it shorter underneath, I have that support and I prevent kind of like these weird waves that I'll get where maybe it'll curl out like that or under. And it's just like a, a more presentable type of wave. Now, if I wanted to avoid this, what I would essentially do is trim my cheeks a little bit shorter and I trim it to probably about, I would say a half an inch or a couple of centimeters of length. And at that length, my beard is still going to appear to be straight and I'm not gonna have the waves that are happening here. And it'll be a more rounded, actually more well-kept looking type of beard. But that's not the style I'm going for. Another key aspect with the length of your beard is gonna be not going too long. Because if you go too long, what you'll find is the weight of the hair will start to, to essentially straighten out the wave. So it's this right balance between not too short and not too long that you're really going to get your most wavy type of beard. Now when it comes to care, there's a few things I like to do. Uh, the first thing I like to do is uh, wash with a utility bar, but I'm not following up with a beard softener. I found that a beard softener can kind of like ease the tension of the hair and kind of cause the hair to straighten up a little bit more, uh, which is a fine look if that's what you're going for. But for me, when I want the waves, I don't want it too relaxed. In addition to that, the utility bar is like a very gentle cleanser. So I found that it's not totally stripping out uh, all the oils on my face, like maybe a harsher um, beard wash from alternative companies out there may do. Hopping out of the shower, the second thing that I found that works really well for me is the utility balm. I'll apply the balm to the beard, to the face, and let it do its conditioning magic. From there, I will start to style my beard. And this is where I'll probably go a little bit different than some of the videos that I've done in the past on how I style the beard. Historically, I would blow from underneath and out, or I would use the Greg Brzezinski technique with kind of the round brush, blow it, blow it down. But what I'm trying to do is actually not spend too much blow drying my hair. And the basic goal is I want 
it's a dry in a downward fashion, but not to the point where I'm straightening out the hair. So it's just kind of quickly warming it up, but not applying so much heat that it's loosening and lengthening the hair. So quick drying, and that's gonna help keep it all in place. So an important part of that styling routine really is that motion. I've got this pocket bores brush, and what I found is just simply going down like this will help bring all the waves together. So I'm not trying to separate the individual hairs to create volume and lift. What I'm trying to do is bring them all together and let the natural wave show off. And what you'll see is my left side and my right side, the waves are completely different. And really, that's the way my beard grows in. I'm not going to go in and be able to uh, like curl the hair or add crimp into it and have it look symmetrical. So just enjoying the natural wave as your beard comes in is really going to be important. So you can do this with either your boar's bristle brush or you can do it with one of your combs. And again, just keep it in that straight motion, bringing it all the way down. The final touch is simply using your hands to bring it all down. I don't, I played around with like kind of doing a zigzag uh, brushing motion, but really I found that if you have a wavy beard and you have the right length, simply going down is going to help align all the beard hairs and get them in that wave together. So there you have it, that is how I do my wavy beard. I hope you guys with wavy beards out there have the confidence to rock it if you haven't been doing it. Or if you do have the confidence to rock it, keep on rocking it and maybe not. Maybe try a different style. Let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. Keep on growing. Thanks for watching this video. Beard Brand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.